Hello, you guys. Been missing you. I know that you hung out with Sister Jackson um, these past three days for the VBS, and I know you enjoyed it and had a great time. Um, let's go ahead and first start off with our prayer. Please bow with me. My Heavenly Father, we come to you at this time, come to you thanking you. Thank you for a beautiful day. Thank you for watching over and guiding us. Thank you for watching over and guiding our parents. We come asking prayers for our sisters and brothers in Christ that are sick and that are shut in, which is pretty much all of us, my Heavenly Father. We come we come asking prayers. We come asking prayers for all, all of us. <clears throat> Excuse me. We come asking prayers for the world, for the people, the leaders of the world. We come ask that you grab their hearts and, and have them do the things that need to be done that's according to your will. We come asking you for guidance for us that we do the right thing and that we show love to everyone who needs to have love shown to them. We come thanking you for all that you have done for us, all that you will do for us. We come asking prayers for this virus that is going around. We ask that we can find a vaccination, find a cure, and that we can all come together and come be as one. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, you guys. So, I know that you hung out with Sister Jackson. I know that y'all had a great time with her. I know that you guys talked about the Red Sea, you know, Moses parting the Red Sea. I know that y'all talked about the different plagues. So before I forget and before I move on, you have an assignment. Yes, I know. Sorry, but yes, you have an assignment by first and second graders. The assignment, of course, Moses is in Exodus. In the plague, it kind of is a, it's a couple of chapters in Exodus, but is it, but it is in Exodus. But your assignment is to at least email me or text me at least one plague. Email me or text me the answer to this question. Name one plague. That's one question. The other question is, what sea did Moses part? Those, those are the things that you have to do. We also have something else that we're going to do after this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to show you pictures, but I am going to read to you. And we're going to read about the Ten Commandments. And we're going to, this is in Exodus 20, verses 1 <clears throat> through 17. So, excuse me, sorry. It says, and God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall not have no other God before me. You shall not make your, yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. For I am the Lord your God. I am a jealous God. Punishing the children for the sins of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. But showing love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. God is always grace, graceful and merciful. He has mercy on us. We love him for that. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. For the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord, your God. On it, you shall not do any work, neither you nor your sons or your daughters, nor your male or female servant, servants, nor your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your town. For on the sixth day, the Lord made the heavens and earth and the sea and all that is in, the, in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honor your fathers and your mothers so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God has given you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbors. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his male or female servants or his ox or donkeys or anything that belongs to your neighbor. That is Exodus 1 through 20. And I was reading it in the NIV. 
The reason why I want to read it to you, because I kind of want to talk to you guys about the Ten Commandments. And we're going to kind of go through that. So the first commandment, there should not, you shall, there should not be any other gods. So we know there is only one true God, and that is our God above. That is, as Brother Wins would say, Yahweh. I'm pretty sure I said it right. That is our Lord, and he's truly amazing. Um, there shall You shall not have other gods before me. That is in Exodus 3. That is the first commandment. The second is thou shall not make make of them any images. You should not make any idols. You should not. That means you should not take things and make it. And so what they did in Exodus back then, they took their gold, melted it down, and they started making images of animals. Hmm. Kind of strange. Because why would you praise an animal? But, you know, that was one of the things they did, and that was wrong. Um, sorry. And then you shall not bow down. So not only did they make these images and start calling them their gods, they were bowing down to them. Kind of strange, but, you know, that's what happened. You Here's a, another one. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord in vain. So when we're in class and we're talking and you might say, oh, my. Don't say, oh, my gosh. God's name is holy. God's name, we need to respect his name. He deserves more than ever, more respect than anything. So you wouldn't say, oh gosh, or oh Lord. There's other things that you can say. So that's what it's talking about, misusing his name. And remembering the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. So on Sunday, it's God's day. I know some of you guys might want to play your video games or you might, there's things you want to do, but that day is God's day and we should be worshiping. I don't know how your parents are going to feel about this, but I'm just going to say this. I would not have a problem if Brother Williams preached all day or if we had a couple of preachers preaching all day. Honestly, I don't think there should be a time limit to how long he preaches. I think he should preach on Sunday until he feels like it. I don't know how your parents can feel about that, but that's, I'm perfectly fine with it. Okay. Honor your father and your mother. I always tell you, which I didn't say it today on purpose, but I always say, make sure you're good to your parents. And that means you do as your parents tell you to do. Not just because, you know, those are your parents, but God has commanded you to. It's one of the Ten Commandments. You shall not murder. That is, shouldn't kill anyone. That's not something you should do. You shall not commit adultery. So let me kind of pause right there. Adultery is, let me see. I'm going to explain this like, like this. So you have your mom and your dad and they're married and they are together. That is the only person they should be with, is with each other. No one else. Okay. Okay. Um, you shall not steal. I sh shouldn't have to really talk to you about stealing, but, you know, we talked about that. Your mom has those awesome cookies sitting up there and they're like so yummy, some scrunches. And you're like, hmm, I can take one. She won't know. But you know who will know? God will know. You shouldn't steal. If it's not yours, don't take it. You should not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shouldn't lie on your neighbors. You should not say things. You should not try to make them look bad. Um, you should not covet your neighbor's house, your your neighbor. You shouldn't covet. And that is, you know, we kind of talked about this before in class. When I'm looking, I'm like, hmm, I really do like those earrings. I really want those earrings. Those earrings are awesome. What can I do to get those earrings? Oh, those earrings, those earrings, those earrings. That's coveting. You want something. You're 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 secretly trying to figure out how to get those things and you know, which will lead you to stealing. So those are the things. So those are the Ten Commandments. And those ten commandments are in Exodus 20, 1 through 10. 
I kind of want to talk to you about that. I wanted to do a little more, but you know, that's okay. We will work on that. What I am going to tell you, here's your other assignment. I know, Sister Shamika, what is going on with all these assignments? Well, I don't get to see you. Miss you guys. And this is kind of a way of me being able to get something back from you to, you know, kind of see you. What I would like for you to do is, I'm not going to make it hard. First, I was going to have you take a piece of paper, cut the paper into like a tablet. It's two of them because God put them on two, five on one, five on the other. But instead of having you, you can, if you want to do a bonus, write down the Ten Commandments. You know, five on one sheet, five on another, and take a picture, send it to me, email me or text me. Or you can at least write down one. Write down one and maybe tell me a little about it. I can't wait to see what you guys say. I miss you guys. I love you guys. Um, I really hope y'all enjoyed the videos of the singing. I'm not a superstar singer, but I do love to sing to God. I love to give him praise. And I can't wait until we're all together to be able to sing again. Love you guys. Miss you guys. Can't wait to see you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Thank you.